What is what the hell is wrong with this guy? Who are you? What is what did you take before you walked through my doors? Watch the lab's been infiltrated. He will lay as a whole bitch of old cage. Rich the over the corner. And then <laughs> Yeah, all right, everybody, I hope you're in for quite a bit of an illegal banger. I caught this a couple of months back, I want to say. I saw it. It looked very gritty, very grungy, very whatever looking. Not really the most uh, flamboyant pixel art game, but it was pixel art. So I was like, let me take a little perusal over here because that's my jam. Looked into it and apparently, I'm glad I did because I found out you're apparently playing the role of a lone shark, you know. Lending money to people, expecting good profits in return. Everything from, you know, oh, I want to start a little lemonade stand. You could go ahead and, you know, lend money to this little child, hoping for some money in return. Or something quite illegal as, uh, you know, I want to start my own black market operation, selling human remains and organs. It's really up to you if you think that's going to come up with a profit for you down the line. The thing is, though, you got to make sure you got a profit by the time the game ends. Because you see, you started this loan shark business by getting money from the cartel. Oh yeah, they're the ones that uh, apparently loaned you the money. So, if that timer clicks down, you can't pay the cartel back. Well, I don't got to tell you what's going to happen if you can't pay the cartel back. Oh, I have a feeling this here might be our cartel. I can do 50,000 on a fixed rate of 20%. It might sound exorbitant, but this line of work, Nino, 20% is borderline philanthropia. That's 20% interest in money I have to put through shell companies. That means company sales, sales taxes, income tax. I could go on. 20% sounds quite fair to me. You're a clever kid. I'm sure you know what an investment business plays for a long game, so I'll be fair. I trust you to get back to me by, let's say, uh, December 1st. That's one year from today. How do you feel about those numbers? You're good about those numbers. Just write the name and sign here. So, let's see here. Um, I, you know, if you guys saw my, my, my gameplay on that one horror game on itch that was all in Spanish. I was able to translate pretty well. Can't really say it too well, but I can translate it. Let's see what I got for you here. Sign here to confirm that you understand completely. Sign here if you understand completely that you will die if you don't pay them back what you owe them. So <laughs> I guess that's a, that's quite a contract you're signing, huh? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. If I can't pay you back, you guys kill me. I'm glad you have it on papers too. Let's sign it. So, curious about how this looks on the outside. I mean, do we have a sign up top that says loans? We market our APR, our interest rates, 8 a.m. 44,000 is how much money we got, right? Turn on the light over here. Yep, that is mobile. Hello, Falcon, is it? Yes, welcome. How are you today? Alright, what do you got for me? Well, I went metal detected in the valley yesterday, as you do, and I happened upon a buried gold necklace. When I pawned it, I thought it'd be worth something of upwards of $30, right? But when I pawned it, the guy says it used to belong to this famous cowgirl from the Old West. A one-eyed Jenny, they called her. I managed to flip the necklace for $600, so I get to researching about this one eye Jenny turns out where I was metal detecting the valley, which she set up camp after her train robberies and whatnot. Well, I'm thinking I hire five elites. Buy them all metal detectors, and we beeline through the valley, digging up whatever riches we can find. I'm thinking I only need to clean 2,000 to get this operation off the ground. So, what you say? Sounds good. Sorry I'm not interested. Sounds actually quite profitable. I'm interested. How can you be sure there's more jewelry? Well, I can't, but 
We have to take risks to make it rich. That's why they call it a fortune, son. Hmm. All right. Okay, great. So, what can you give? Well, I'm gonna give you the 2,000 you asked for, that's for sure. Now, I wonder if you're gonna let me set up my own... Like, how's the, the interest rate gonna work here? Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a right amount to me. Okay, and then you set up the rate right here, huh? That'll be a rate of 10%. But apparently I can toggle this myself. Got a good... Got a good old... 20? I mean, we got a 20% from the cartel lady, right? Do 20. Done deal. I'll be in contact then. Alright. So 2000 already down the drain, but hey, you know what? He found himself something that was apparently like $600, so maybe there's more out there. We'll see. You gotta spend money to make money is what they say, right? Here we got Mitch Mitrovic. Hey, the name's Mitch. Mitch Mitrovic. Uh, what do you got for me today, Mitch? Uh, I'm here today to share with you a brilliant opportunity to take a piece of gambling industry for yourself. Let's start from the very beginning. I was born in Atlantic City. Well, my mother and father were dealers to casino. I was learning to count cards before I learned my ABCs. I was entering high-profile blackjack tournaments before I graduated middle school. I'm a gun, plain and simple. If you got a deck, I can count it. Well, I don't have a deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but if you did, I could count it. Anyway, it wasn't long before the casinos from the Pacific to the Atlantic caught wind. And as you can imagine, I'm banned from getting foot in any casino north of the Mexican border. So be it. I got nothing to prove anymore. I'm just trying to pay my rent and my gym subscription. Here's the deal. I open up the first ever card counting school. I start out by giving private lessons out of my apartment. Then I rent an office space. Then I build my own academy. Things are looking up. This idea is my second wind. For all intents and purpose, I'm back in the fucking game. So you were this... This, you know, marvelous kid genius of counting cards, and now you can't apparently even pay your rent and you keep up your gym subscription? I'm not sure if I'm behind this, man. Well, what do you need me for specifically? I just need money to, for some online ads and a website. It may be cleaner for my apartment. Four thousand. What do you need a cleaner for? You just go grab a broom, grab the vacuum, you lazy bum. How is that legal? I mean, how do you not get dinged for that instantly? You're opening up, I mean, no, no, we can't. Sorry, dude. You know, open up a school. Hey, yeah, we, we this school that we show you how to count cards so you could, you know, game the system. I'm not sure that's illegal. I mean, not many things that we will do illegal, but this one, like, you know, advertising illegal activities, it's one thing you can do it underground, but if you, active, you can be, like, actively, you know, promoting it, no. Get out of here, Mitch. Go clean your apartment, too, okay? pigsty in there. Anything with this? Oh, you can click on this too. Welcome to Investodia. Please verify that you're using Investodia. Sure. Oh, we got Tuxa. Ooh, this might be important. Research suggests that attainable genetically modified plants may aid in solving more problems. Technological. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett urges got followers to invest in gold over recurrencies or pop culture collectibles. Teresa sent me. I'm just checking in. Quite a nice place you got. Apologies, I say my English is, uh, what's the word, shit. Nosotros podemos cambiar el español. Oh, you want to speak in Spanish? No, no, no. I, I can kind of do it, but it's going to take me a while. Me no speak Spanish, amigo. Ay, Dios mío. Are you fucking kidding? In this part of the country, in this part of the state, in this part of the city, I knew this was a mistake. Everything seems to be working just fine. Really? You're just blowing from Pendejo Town? I'm no super genius business guy, but it looks to me like this place is dead. It smells like fresh paint and carpet mold. You want it to smell like body odor or if idiots shuffling in and out with ideas or lawn mowing businesses? Only customers you'll be getting is white trash gringos and gangster chico. How many pitches you sit through today? Got to. Oh! Fucking the business model of this place. You just sit here and you just wait for people to walk in with their shitty ideas? Basically. How many players you got lined up today? Six. Ah. You play your cards right, you might actually make the payment. 
Say, what are you going to do this business anyway? Mm, I like being on. <laughs> no wonder Teresa took a liking to it. Anyways, I got to get going. Remember, repayment is due December 1st. Don't fuck around with the capital we gave you and you might just come out of this, alright? Good luck. Gunnery Sergeant First Class Marcus Kovic, 3rd Marine Division, United States Marine Corps, in this December 19, 2001, Audible Discharge, March 10, 2013, sir. Yeah, I remember you wrote all that in your appointment sheet as your name. Yes, I did, sir. I'm here because I would like to present the business opportunity to you, sir. Are you familiar with the Beanie Babies, sir? Uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of a product of their time, but yeah. Well, my uncle had the largest collection of Beanie Babies in the Southwest United States, sir. He left me a quarter of his collection and his will, sir. And I intend to sell these collectibles to pay off my mortgage, sir. First, I need to organize an auction, sir. Last night I spent three hours crunching the numbers. I will need $3,000 to cover the cost of the auctioneer and the venue, sir. I guarantee I will pay you back, sir. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. Sure. 3000 huh? I mean, I wonder what happens if you give more than they're asking for. I'm curious. Like, there's like a meta to this. I'm going to give him what he asked me for, but I'm curious. I'm... I'm a little bit curious. I mean, what if we go up to like... Uh, I was trying to say 4,000, but it's kind of hard to <laughs> give it the slight little touch that you need. Can I maybe scroll? No. Okay. Would you be happy with 4,100? Okay. Okay. So they'll, they they will say no. Okay. But at least we have found out. I, I'm trying to get to that area. Yes, sir. What will I owe you, sir? Uh, let's see. How about... How about... How about a nice 25%, my friend? I can work with that, sir. Thank you for your time, sir. No, no, no. Thank you, soldier. Thanks for uh, serving your country as long as apparently you did. Good luck selling the Beanie Babies and bringing me back some money. So that's going to be your second investment right there, right? Thirty-seven fifty. Oh, twenty-four hundred. dollars oh, okay. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes so far. I feel pretty good. I think that I'm okay with saying no to Mitch. We can turn off the top lights as well. And I can go into that like a gun somewhere here. This is gonna be Gail Reeves. Hey. Welcome. Uh, I graduated from the University of Arizona with a bachelor's in civil engineering. You know the bridge over the stream and down in Midtown? Yeah. Well, I did that. Uh, I guess I'm working on a crazy new carbon dioxide generator that would make us thousands and millions of dollars. I just need the money for an industrial hose. A reel of duct tape, some some stainless steel tanks. Please. Carbon dioxide generator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's used in agriculture and stuff, I guess. I, I wouldn't want to bore you with the details. Hmm. How much do you need? 3,500 will work. Sorry, I'm not interested. Okay, cool. Uh, see, see you later, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you put something in front of me like Beanie Babies, I could work with that. I understand Beanie Babies. You know, I, 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 I remember the rave when I was a little young little lad about the Beanie Babies. But a carbon dioxide generator? I don't know. Something doesn't sit right. Hello? Oh, should I say, hola. 300 years ago, these lands were within the grass of the Mexican Empire. 5,000 years ago, these lands were within the grass of the Tonoho Odon people. So perhaps I should say, aloha. I'm a little story, I admit. But the point is this, ownership is a matter of time. What was once yours will soon become another's. Huh? That is especially the case for a young girl named Simone. Simone is currently working on a research paper about the American Revolution. She is soon to complete Unit 3 of 2nd grade comprehension and Unit 4 of 6th grade arithmetic. Would it surprise you to learn how Simone is actually a chimpanzee? I have no idea what you're talking about, <laughs> Barnaby Jackson. Yes, I'm quite surprised. Okay, let's take a step back for a moment. When I was young, I had a dog named Perseus. After a while, a family couldn't afford to feed Perseus. This is when my mother sold him to a nice man on a farm in Kentucky. The proceeds, of course, went to an Atari 7800 I received on my 11th birthday. We tied this mess of concepts together, 
We'll just say young Simone is fit for a change of owners. Here's the plan. We fly a Beechcraft B-36 Bonanza over the Wernerheim and West Laboratory in 11th Avenue with Simone to speed the hell captive. A demolition expert will skydive to the roof. <laughs> when he will reach the sea. What is what the hell is wrong with this guy? Who are you? What did what did you take before you walked through my doors? Once the lab's been infiltrated, he will lay as a whole bit of old cage. Rich the over the corner. And <laughs> military grade mattresses. Jump out to them. Oh, they will enter a vet. I can't even do this guy's voice anymore. This is, this is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> They're getting back into Beechcraft. Simone will be regaged within the aircraft and flown to another airfield outside of Santiago, Cuba, with a flight back cleared by the Cuban Airspace Administrators. Waiting there will be Chinese. <laughs> still going on. This will be Chinese zero tech mandating you fuck my fake to make a transaction of 23.8 million Swiss francs for Simone. I know what you're thinking. Who gave you the blueprint to the half for Toro? Yeah, that's that's my number one concern right now. Who gave you that blueprint? That's the, that's the one that really stood out to me as, you know, far-fetched. Well, I have to answer the question. We'd have to kill you. <laughs> that's my end of the bargain to purchase the mattress for Simone. Oh, you're in charge of the mattress. Oh, why don't you just tell me you came in here for a mattress, dude? We'll have your money with a 10% markup to you by Friday this week, 4 a.m. When opportunity arises, a man of two options, these options would seem pretty clear by now. I trust you to make an important decision. <laughs> I, I'm not interested in your insane sci-fi bullshit, crackhead. What is the sanity, amigo? What makes you think? Somebody has yelled in the background. I hope that was in-game and not literally outside of my hood. What makes you any more sane than the tweaking down the street? Well, I don't know. I didn't just walk into a random loan shark and threw that idea at him. I want a full, well-reasoned argument. Intro body paragraph one, body paragraph two, body paragraph three, and conclusion. The fuck out of my office. It's your loss, amigo. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, that was good. That was good. <laughs> I think that already covered the price of admission for this game. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this, I should mention, I guess. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to leave a thumbs up. We could definitely come back and do some more of this. Right now, it's going to just be a one shot, but uh, there's <laughs> definitely potential here. Oh, God. What's happening here? Yo, we got some tunes now? All right. Apparently, Jack's here brought in the tunes. Yo, yo, yo. Smell that. It's gross. Up in your hands, yuck. Look at it, it's brown. Ew, mud. Big fucking pool of wet brown mud. How does it all look in the pigs? Osama Allah, disgusting fucking creatures. You know what? I'm about ready to get myself out the mud. How about you? Are you, are you, are you Barnaby Jackson's friend by any chance? Like, what are you talking about? Listen, we just need time. Two hours tops. Two, two, are you gonna? Are you killing? Are you, this is like a stick up. Two hours for what? To get ourselves out the fucking mud. The mud? How does that Kanye track go? Oh, you gonna go with Jeezy now? Told him I finished school and I started my own business and say, "Oh, you graduated?" No, I decided I was finished. It's like that, except we ain't graduated from no university. We graduated from the mud. I just quit my job for this shit. So you quit your job so you're coming over to ask for money. How are you gonna pay me back? Have you got a business idea or not? I, I, business ideas. Exhibit A, gold digging. Nah, not like me and a rich dude, but like, taking a bus to Oregon, paying for gold in the mountains. It's been at least 150 years since the Chinese dudes tried it. More gold probably resurfaced in rivers and shit. Sip it B. Smuggling fake Gucci belts out of Liberia. That one needs a little more starting capital and account of I need some plane tickets. I'm 
sorry, man. I'm out, kids. Tomorrow morning, go back to your boss and beg for your job back. All right, look. I'm not sure about the gold panning, but this this Gucci fake merchandise. I think we could work with that. For the gold thing, you're the belt. I'm gonna say the belt smuggling. You know what? Just give me anything around 1K and I'll uh, a double it, like triple. Anything around 1k? I will do 2,000. She's gonna snowball, paper clip to a house kind of shit. All right, all right. I mean, you said relatively close to that. Well, 50. Cool, dude. Now what will I owe you? I mean, you you mentioned triple, right? You mentioned triple. I mean, obviously we have to go higher than that. But because he mentioned triple, our highest so far has been 25. I'm gonna go up to 30 with this dude. Okay, okay, let's get to work with that, homie. Now, looking down at the mud, I realize how shallow it actually is. Thanks for the business, Holmes. All right. Well, uh, how many invest? Oh, can you check? That's it for today. I'm curious where this goes from now. <laughs> so, do we get like a summary now, or? It kind of has a little bit of a papers please type of thing as well like you know you're trying to balance money and stuff like that too i mean usually this is kind of like the formula i usually see this type of game and i always think papers please initially hey man you after a drink sure what can i get you i'll take a whiskey need excellent choice compadre kind of like a pasta game over there for some reason here you go thanks you know, you look new in town. Yeah, how do you figure that? Dry lips? Say, what brings you here? If you don't mind me asking, that is. I do mind. I see. Well, I got more folks to get to, so I'll leave you too. Got your peanuts. Have a little chug. Make a cigarette here? No, apparently not. the hell is that over there? Um, excuse me? Exactly. Exactly. Don't be offended, asshole. I mean, <laughs> my world is a term of endearment. Oh, okay, it's the first bitch, then asshole. Okay, then, bitch. I want you to know something. In your world, people make a few thousand dollars and start to think they're God. Life for most folks is just one big 65 year long ass rape of getting fucked over and being fascist slaves to the imperialist consumerist capitalist machine. As soon as the foreman lets the worker drone chose what he wants to do with his own hammer, a worker drone starts bashing the skull wrong skulls in, ends up getting himself murked. What the hell are you talking about? All I'm saying is the doll is the single most valuable item in the country right now. It's deified. When someone gets their hands on it, they feel like God. Mix a guy who feels like God and a bunch of other guys who feel like God and what do you get? A bunch of dead guys. You're in the money business. You're running a very significant risk. I'm offering you a very good way out of mitigating that risk. Meet me at this place at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Don't be late. Diana's 21 Jupiter Juniper Road. Okay. Good. Oh, I'll drink to that. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Well, apparently there's a chance of getting like some sort of uh, get out of jail free card here. Shit, it's the fan. Makes me feel like Breaking Bad, you know? This is like the vacuum. This is the vacuum cleaner um, shop. You're late. Why am I here? Who are you? Yeah, let's cut the chit chat and get down to the brass tacks. What's your offer? My offer. An escape route. Insurance, if you will. If all your shit hits the fan, you want a way out. I'm selling you the way out. Fake passport, wigs, plane tickets, accommodation, the whole shebang. This is like the, the, the vacuum cleaner guy in um, Breaking Bad. Okay, okay, can you get it more specific? Where would I be going? How much would it cost? Well, that's the thing, it costs nothing. Until the moment you decide you need to get the fuck out of Dodge. And you don't even have enough time to think about paying me. All I'm asking you is to have 10000 on hand because that's what I charge. I'll be waiting for you in a private airstrip for you. You give me the money, I'll let you on the plane. Don't go gambling your asses at last time. Or else, I'm not going to be able to help you. That's what this meeting is. Me informing you that I'm always ready to get you out of the country into a very safe and peaceful life in a nation that doesn't expect to the United States with a low cost of 10000 
The second volume of our meeting will concern where the plane should be going in the event we do meet the tarmac on the airstrip. So, got any preferences? Montana? <laughs> I, I, I don't think, um, Montana... No, I'm not gonna go to Montana. I'm going to the US. Mexico, China, Ukraine, Nam Nabi Namibia, Iran. Well, I heard recently that the Russian troops are removing some of their troops from the Ukraine border, so maybe not a bad idea. Ukraine? Yeah, that'll work. Perhaps a little cold. What do I care, right? Ukraine, we'll go with that. I like the cold. Until then, have a nice breakfast, Falcon. I'm not sure how I should feel about this. Like, I mean, we have like a way out, so that's always good. But at the same time, we have this random stranger who knows apparently the type of business we must be into. Otherwise, why would you come up with this to me? I don't think I ever told her my name as well, so there is that. Hey, Amen. Spend a nickel. I'm gonna spend it on food. I'm gonna spend it on that. Neither. I was just gonna spend it on dog treats. See, there's a gym around the corner. Jim Corner's constantly sick and his dog on me. I was hoping I could maybe make friends with the dog by giving him treats. Singing this dog on you, man, that's sad. Go with that one. I seen sad shit. You able to help me out or not? Nah, I don't have any cash on me. Where is this guy? Could I buy you the dog treats from the store if you like? I can do that. You, you don't have to do that, man. Why? I'm trying to help you out. So this guy's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I need the money to buy doctor. It's okay, I'll buy him for you. No, 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 no. I just need the money. It's like, okay, now, now it's kind of really fishy, my dude. You know what I'm saying? No, believe me, I want. Thank you, man. And have a nice day. Does that mean that I did it? Does that mean that he was just like, nah, it's okay. I guess I'm going to the convenience store. Maybe I am. Would you like anything else, sir? Uh, smokes? S yeah, sell dog treats here. Uh, yeah, I have some premium stuff at the back here. Great. So, credit card or cash? Credit card. Okay, just can't hear, sir. Thanks. Would you like a receipt? Nah, I'm good. Okay, have a good day. Two night in Mexico, Sinaloans rejoice as infamous drug trafficker Joaquin El Chapo Guzman is captured for a third time since 1993 by Mexican Marines. After a raid in the one of Chapo's Los Mokis compound, Chapo fled his compound through a secret tunnel only to be spotted shortly after outside of a Walmart. Chapo hijacked the Ford Focus and escaped on the highway. Mexican Marines eventually caught up to Chapo less than five miles out of town. More on this after the break. Chapo, huh? Isn't he still locked up? Supposedly. I will see. Oh, is this a summary? Okay. So, uh, one eye Jenny. Results are pending. So, nothing so far in that. Beanie Babies. Oh. Oh. What happened? You had the Beanie Babies. Soldier. No one wanted Marcus Kovic's Beanie's Babies. I, yeah, I see that. Mud. Result pending. So what you're telling me is that, um, big fat zero. One, we have failed, and the other two, well, they're pending. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. Okay, don't, you don't gotta remind me it's in 10 months, okay? You don't gotta remind me. Game is say, would you like to continue? Sure. Well, um, I think we've gone long enough with this one here, so how about we wrap it up after our very first thing? Um, obviously, it's up in the air. Two were still pending, one failed severely. Um, we got dog treats at least, so that's gonna be something we pause right here, yes. So, if you guys did enjoy, you know what to do, let me know in the comments, I'm leaving a thumbs up in the video. Let's know you guys wanna see some more of something, and also helps out with the old algorithm. Just doing quite a number on the old Birdman's behind recently, but... It is what it is. But if you guys want to see more of bad credit, do let me know. Otherwise, all the information down below in case you want to pick this up for yourself. So far, pretty good. Actually, a lot better than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. I'll catch you guys next time.